Travel looks a whole lot different this year thanks to COVID. But this doesn't mean we can't get virtual stamps on our passport through our taste buds this summer. First up, France. When I think of the south of France, I think of alfresco dining, beaches, sunshine. I mean, I think of delicious, light, fresh food. Nothing says alfresco beachside dining like fish. And to create the perfect meat sauce salad, which is what this lovely thing is, you're going to want to utilize these ingredients. First up, green beans. Green beans are fantastic and they're perfectly French. You can grill them on the grill. You can grill them on your stovetop. You can even roast them in the oven. Not to be all done, <laughs> my whole potatoes. I like to have my potatoes. I like to grill them in the summer. I like to roast them in the winter because even though this dish says summer, it can be made all year long. Fresh tomato. I don't know about you, but summer to me, no matter what region I'm trying to replicate, summer is tomatoes and fresh thyme and lemon. So what you want to do when you're grilling your lemon for all your new plus salad dreams, if you don't want to oil it, you just want to warm up a grill outside or a grill on your stovetop. You just want to press the lemon down. And what will happen is the sugars will caramelize and they'll get all delicious and caramelly and flavorful. And that's going to add just a little je ne sais quoi to this niçoise salad. And moving it along just like that actually helps to develop the flavor. Don't be afraid of a little bit of smoke. Smoke is good in this instance. And you'll see little lines there. This is perfect for our salad. And how you finish this off is you just squeeze it all over top, just like that. A nice squeeze of lemon over salmon, chef's kiss. The reason I made the Nice Was salad is because it's perfect for your classic summer French picnic in the park because all of these ingredients travel beautifully. And again, if you're staying safe at home, why not wash it down with a nice crisp glass of white? You could also use rosé. I don't discriminate. From my French kitchen to yours, cheers. The next stamp on our virtual culinary passport is Greece. I can't tell you how many friends this summer that had all their Greece dreams dashed by COVID. But fear not, we're gonna replicate it in our own kitchens at home this summer. So nothing says to me Greece quite like feta cheese. Feta cheese is quintessentially Greek. And you will see it all summer long in all my Greek dishes. I'm getting my stamps too. And again, you're gonna see things like potato, lemon, lemons grow there, en masse. We have mint, which is so fresh. And again, something you'll see in Greek cocktails, something you'll see in Greek salads, Greek desserts. Greeks love mint. And so what we're gonna make today to get our stamp certified Greek is a watermelon and feta salad with mint. We have grilled lamb, which is again, very Greek. When I'm grilling my lamb at home, either on stovetop or outside, I like to just boil it lightly and season it with salt and pepper on both sides. And because I want this to feel Greek, I'm also gonna add a little bit of dried thyme or dried rosemary. And then I just grill it for one to two minutes per side and then I let it rest. Top it all off with a really fresh grilled lemon and mint dressing. I mean, nothing says, mm, hello Greece, quite like it. So you can realize all your Santorini dreams with this dish. Now, if you want to amp up your watermelon salad, one of the best ways to do that is to grill your watermelon. You don't want to oil it because the sugars, we want them to caramelize and get those grill marks. And whether you're doing this outside or inside, you just take a grill pan, you put your watermelon down, and you want to hear the sizzle. And you just let it rest. After about two or three minutes undisturbed, your grilled fruit is gonna look like this. Oh yes. And then you just cut it up. It's perfect. Just like that as a side to your beautiful Greek plate or all by itself. By utilizing all the quintessential flavors of Greece like lemon, feta, mint, and lamb, you can get your stamp on your culinary passport this summer.
Our next stamp on our passport is Vietnam. And no matter the time of year, I love the flavors of Vietnam because they're both fresh and bright, but also just like deep and flavorful. And so in order to realize all your Hoi An dreams this summer safe at home, you're gonna want to employ some really quintessential Vietnamese flavors. The first one is rice noodles. Rice noodles are a super versatile noodle. They're one of my favorites. I use them all the time. You can use them in soups, a la pho. You can use them in this beautiful rice noodle and chicken salad. You can even use them just on their own, tossed with some soy sauce and some peanut butter and tossed with fresh herbs. It's great. Now, for this Vietnamese salad bowl, you're going to want to use your favorite fresh vegetables. In this case, I use cucumber because I love it. It's like having a drink of water. You can use cucumber slices just like this, cut into moons, or to make it fun and fancy, you can use just a Y-shaped peeler that you find anywhere, really, and you just shave the cucumber from the top all the way down the length of it and get these nice curls. And then you just fold them up just like that. It makes your salad both edible and photogenic. We're using carrots. We have mint and basil as a garnish. And we're gonna be using the leaves whole as opposed to chopping them up because that's going to boost the brightness of this salad. It's hot in the summer. We wanna stay cool. And these types of foods are gonna keep you super cool and feeling fresh all summer long. And then for our dressing, something super simple, just soy sauce, a little bit of fish sauce, some lime juice, salt, pepper, sesame oil. Bob's your uncle, delicious. And lastly, because we have to wash all of this down, we are going to make a Vietnamese iced coffee. I personally like to use a lighter coffee roast because then it means that this drink is refreshing and light, but it's not gonna like weigh me down with a really coffee-y brew. In order to make the perfect Vietnamese coffee, you need a cup with condensed milk about a third of the way up, and then you wanna fill this cup with ice all the way to the top. This is essential. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour over hot coffee and as the coffee melts, or as the coffee filters and the ice melts, it'll be Vietnamese coffee dreams. Even though travel looks a whole lot different this year, we can still see the world or taste the world through our plate. So get stamps on your culinary passport this year and visit Vietnam, Greece, and France.